Pro-Trump lawyer Stephanie Lambert can't seem to stop getting arrested. On Thursday, Lambert turned herself in at a Michigan courthouse, funding another arrest earlier this week over a plot to seize several voting machines in the state in 2020. Yes, she's a election denier. Lambert was arrested on Monday in Washington, D.C., where she was representing another election denier, Patrick Byrne, in a defamation suit brought by Dominion Voting Systems. Hmm. Federal marshals arrested her in the courtroom for her failure to show up for a earlier hearing in her home state to face accusations related to alleged tampering with voting machines in search of evidence that doesn't actually exist of alleged voter vote manipulation during the 2020 election. That's right. She just, you know, decided, I'm just, I'm just not going to show up. You know, I'm not going to do it. Whoopsie. Mm, bad idea. What do you expect when you don't show up for court? You should expect the federal marshals to come and find you and haul your ass up to court. That's what you should, uh, should expect. All right. Now, this uh, actually began on March 7th when a bench warrant was issued for Lambert's arrest for her role in what Michigan State Attorney General Dana Nessel called a, quote, coordinated plan to gain access to voting tabulators. Why do they keep breaking into these things? <laughs> okay. Lambert, accused of breaking into voting machines to run so-called tests, failed to show up to her court date. Then on March 18th, Lambert was arrested after representing Byrne in the Dominion defamation suit, where she is also accused of leaking confidential internal emails belonging to Dominion. I talked about this earlier this week um, when she had leaked these emails that she claimed had all this evidence. Lambert, who was given access to the emails as Burns counsel, accused Dominion of, quote, instituting fraud with this defamation suit. Mm. And leaked the emails to Barry County Sheriff Dar Leaf, who posted those emails on his Twitter slash X account on Monday. Not a good idea to do. Bad idea, terrible idea. Uh, three days after a D.C. judge told her to get her ass back to Michigan, she turned herself in to face conspiracy charges for her, her involvement in the machine tampering scheme. Yes. <laughs> but it's not over for Stephanie Lambert. Oakland County Judge Jeffrey Mattis had mandated that Lambert's fingerprints be taken, which, despite court orders, Lambert has resisted, and that she submit to a DNA sample. Now, what, why, would, why would they need fingerprints in a DNA sample? What, for what? Well, it would be used to confirm whether Lambert had physically tampered with a voting machine, which is a no-no. You're, you're not supposed to do that. Not supposed to physically mess with these machines. Uh, it is vital state infrastructure, voting infrastructure, election security. You know, all that stuff. Very important. That's why it's a felony to mess with them. So, wait, if she did mess with them to get her evidence, then why, uh, why, uh, not, why, why does she not submit to the fingerprints in the DNA sample? Why, I mean, if she's proud of what she did and was only, only doing it for the good of, the, of America, the good of the country, and protect our elections, then she should be like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I got in the machines, and I, I proved that they were fraudulent. But instead, she fights against it. Whatever happened to respecting law and order, Republicans? Just comply, they say. But funny enough, when it's, when it's their turn to comply with law enforcement, they never do. And what's even funnier about this is that before she turned herself in, she went to Twitter slash X, because that's where you go now, uh, to air unhinged conspiracy theories, saying, quote, I just know too much, and I have too much evidence. Really? Bullshit. That's what I think about that. How, how'd you get that so-called evidence there, uh, Ms. Lambert? Are you admitting to breaking into the machines? If you did, I mean, and you confess to a felony... Stupid. Not exactly the smartest thing. But we do know that election deniers aren't really the smartest people around. Sorry. Look, I'm not saying that they're stupid, right? It's just the fact that they think that they're the smartest people in the room. 
when in reality, when it comes to the things that they're talking about, they know nothing. Mike Pillow claims to be an expert on cybersecurity. The guy probably can't even open his own PDF, all right? Probably has no idea uh, about any of the code that these machines actually use. <laughs> they None of them know, okay? And, and look, when, when you talk to uh, election deniers that are no longer election deniers because there are people out there that have actually you know, signed up to work for the state administering these elections, when they find out the process and when they find out how secure our elections actually are, the processes that they have to go through to uh, verify these ballots, they're like, oh, I, I didn't realize that there were so many safeguards in place in our election system. God, now I feel kind of stupid. Well, you should. You should. <laughs> uh, and as far as Stephanie Lambert, uh, she should feel real stupid right now, though I, I doubt she will. Um, at least until a sentence is handed down. <laughs> because when it comes to what she's doing, she is, uh, well, she's playing a real stupid game. And when you play stupid games, you usually end up with some pretty stupid prizes.